All right, let's do another Bench Vice unboxing video. Uh, in case anybody's wondering, yes, I am addicted to Bench Vices, so we'll just get that out of the way. I collect antique ones, and plus I have several modern ones that I can afford. But uh, we'll take a look at this Doyle four and a half inch vise. I had a 25% coupon and it was only good on a few select things and I noticed that this was one of them and I really like the the uh, six and a half inch that I have so I figured I'd go ahead and get the four and a half inch vise. I see a lot of guys talking it up on the internet but we'll go ahead and do an unboxing video and we'll take a look at it together right out of the box. All right. First thing in the box is got a manual for it. This is the same one that came with the six inch vise. I guess they just printed both of them on the same deal. Look at it as it's in the box. This has been in a car, so it's pretty cold. grease on it here and there it's to be expected all right let me pause it and I'll get right back to you when I get it out of the box all right Take the plastic off and take a look at it together. Got a stain there on the back or something. Casting looks pretty good. Up a little deviations there. Not particularly worried about that. Seems like it's deburred pretty good. Same uh, jaw serrations as my six and a half. Nice and aggressive, I like that. Bolt on pipe jaws on the bottom. I know some guys seem to like those. I don't really use those too, too terribly much. Of grease on the slide there looks like it's pretty well lubricated let me go ahead and flip it over and maybe pull the traveling jaw out of it jaw out of it so we can take a look at both the bottom and the, the guts of it all right I'll be right back all right here we go I forgot my digital calipers the battery went dead on it but Got a zero to one mic here. The uh, Acme thread on that is about 740 thousandths di outside diameter. Obviously keyed. Got a ton of grease on it. Damn. 
It's a heavy little bugger. I forgot to look and see how much it weighed. Oh, tons of grease in there too. Take a look at the bottom. Yeah, so that's set up just like that SATA and just like its big brother, the six and a half. With these separated, real thick, beefy locking lugs on those uh, serrations. All right, let me put it back together and I'll get back to you. All right, here are these two together, right next to each other. This is the six and a half. I just have some six inch soft jaws because I was doing some bench work with it, just farting around with it. Here's the four and a half inch next to it. Pretty neat. These really are smooth vices. They're pretty nice. I probably honestly would have bought a 8 inch version of these if they would have had it. But I doubt they'll ever make one. Nice big beefy lock handles. Look to be about the same length. Probably same size as the... Oh, I just got greased. Probably same size as the six and a half inch, I bet. And I finally got this Yoast 460 mounted up here in place of my win. It's kind of dirty. I've been using it. Well, it doesn't look like it is here, but file shavings all over it and sawdust and stuff. I also have uh, another couple addictions, which is uh, 12 inch adjustable wrenches, crescent style, American made, mostly Western Forge, and some of the old Jamestown, New York uh, crescent wrenches that I've been messing with, filing the faces and stuff with this thing. And I just bought these cheap uh, soft jaws from Amazon. I think they were like 11 bucks a piece. Or 11 bucks for a set of two. So I got this set and this set came in it. I didn't know that. It came with two sets. So, or a set of two rather. But here's the stand that I'm working on for the... Uh, for the six inch Doyle. This is a railroad tie plate, high carbon steel that I drilled and tapped and set on the top of it. This was reversed. I was going to use that and I had drilled that to the bolt pattern of the of the vise, but I've decided to flip it around and use this thing so I can hang hammers and stuff off, off of it. And this is a, I think this is a, five inch diameter or four and a half inch diameter and it's a um, half inch wall tubing that they were scrapping out at my work they were letting me they let me have that to use on it and I've had this since I was a kid and I've never used it for anything but using on my kinetic hammer to take bullets out with a plastic hammer. That's the only thing I've ever used it for, but I decided to drill and tap it. Man, that stuff's stout. It was pretty hardcore drilling and tapping it. I'll let you see what that looks like on the uh, on top of it. Maybe I'll put both of them on, on it and we'll take a look at them. Oh, there we go. There's the little four and a half incher on it. Let me manhandle the six and a half on it. I got scared there. I had to put one bolt on the back of it through the plate. I was afraid that it might fall over. But this stand, I think, weighs...
close to 100 pounds by itself. This is every bit of half inch and that down there is a half inch plate. That fits on that pretty good. This one's going to go in my uh, basement workshop where I do a lot of the wrench restorations and some other junk that I'm working on. Kind of into antique tractors too. I got them kind of stuffed up here in the basement, but lighting's kind of crappy over there. All right, guys, getting pretty long. I figured I'd just throw something up about this little uh, four and a half. And this may replace my SATA that I just got recently. One of the guys from my work has really been bugging the crap out of me about buying that thing off me. So this may end up taking its place going in my uh, reloading room. I just bought some soft jaws and everything for the some vintage uh, Wilton soft jaws for my SATA too so they probably won't fit this thing since it's a half inch wider but... alright guys take it easy